Lord Father, you are so good. You are so good to me. Even when I feel so bad, I can always know you are so good. For God is good, just like God is love. That is his character. And there's no shadow of turning, no matter which way you turn it or call it. All through the word it's proven. God is good and God is love. That's what <clears throat> excuse me, pours out of him at all times. We can count on his goodness. I'm reading in Deuteronomy 30, and he's just calling us, calling the people back to him, and says, if you'll just return with your whole heart, just turn to me, um, then I will turn your captivity, like turn your debt, or turn your bondage, or if you feel trapped in something, he will turn it, and he'll com- have compassion, and he'll gather us. He said, even if you've been driven to the edge, the outmost parts, I will gather you. I will fetch you like that little lamb that's gone astray and fallen into the ditch. He'll come after us. He says, I'll do thee good and I'll multiply and increase you. I will circumcise your heart, meaning he'll cut away all the waste and purify your heart and our children, and he'll cause us to love him because he so loves us. And then he says, if you'll just return and obey me, that I will make you plentiful in every work of your hand, in the fruit of your body, in the fruit of your cattle, your land, for good, and I'll rejoice over you. Can you imagine? God himself rejoices over us when we just turn our hearts to him, when we just honor him, give him our heart, our attention, our thoughts, that we not lean to our own understanding, but acknowledge him, invite him into every situation so that he can turn our captivity, turn our hearts, turn our minds to right thinking, and then we will live an abundant life, peaceful and free, no matter what the circumstances. That's his promise to us, because he is good.